This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in these products, check the links in the description. In this video, we are talking about dark metal baking pans versus light. And as you can see, we have both on hand. They both have their advantages and disadvantages when it comes to baking certain products. For most of our delicate things like cookies, cakes, etc., we want to use the lighter metal pans because it gives a much softer heat. And basically what that comes down to is the metal they're made out of is less efficient at conducting heat. So it gives it a softer overall heat, which doesn't promote things like browning and crusting. So if you're baking a cake and you're baking it in a light metal pan, that gives it more time to rise up, be fluffy and perfectly flat on top before it actually starts to crust over. If you're doing it in a dark metal pan, you might notice that the sides crust over and it's giving you this huge dome in the center, and that's partially because of that metal. And there's a few things that you can do to combat that, and there's also a few times when you're going to want to use dark metal. So because it's more efficient at absorbing heat and transferring it to products, it's really great if you're trying to get a nice crust or get something really brown, like say a pizza. Uh, and there's a few things you can do if you already have dark metal pans and aren't willing or ready to reinvest in some lighter color ones. So if it's things like cookie trays or sheet pans, you can use a sill pat. This will help uh, absorb some of that eat, heat and give you a softer, more even baking if you're baking delicate things like cookies. If it's a cake pan, and not a flat sheet tray, what you can do is wrap the outside of the pan in some aluminum foil, and that'll help to absorb some of that heat and make it a nice softer temperature for your cakes and keep them from browning too quickly. The other thing you can do with these if you're baking more delicate things is also lower your oven temperature by about 25 degrees, and that's a general rule for when you're baking with dark metal trays, and you'll see that a lot on the sides of things like box mixes for cupcakes and cakes. Right, And then so when we've got to our lighter metal trays, a lot of times all we have to do, line them with a little bit of parchment, right? And so if we're gonna bake things where we want a uh, higher heat or crust or a nice browning, oftentimes you might find you need to raise the temperature just a little bit to get some more out of these. So there's things that you can do with both of them to adjust based on what you're baking and what your needs are. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.